Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. We've done a lot of videos over the years looking at different ways to make coffee and I'm always looking for new ways to make a good cup. Although normally I make a traditional drip type coffee or French press coffee, sometimes an espresso coffee or an espresso based drink is what I'm looking for. So stay tuned and we're going to take a look at a pretty awesome battery powered portable espresso maker from the company K-Flow. Thanks for watching guys. So what makes espresso espresso? Now it's not espresso, it's espresso. I'll probably say it wrong at some point. Basically a good espresso is created by pressure. First you start with super fine ground coffee and then you use an espresso maker to push water through that finely ground coffee at a specific pressure or a relatively high pressure. The pressure is what gives it its really rich flavor and that characteristic crema, that little layer of crema on top of the coffee. Because of this, it's hard to make espresso without electricity. Now you can do it, all right? There's plenty of makers out there, but it's a lot easier to use an electric espresso maker to create this type of coffee. Again, I'm not saying it's not possible. There are plenty of little portable espresso makers, but the question is, is it easy to do and does it taste as good? Now I've said this before, but one of the cool things about having a YouTube channel, especially a YouTube channel that focuses on stoves and outdoor gear and coffee, is that companies tend to reach out to me at times and ask if I want to check out some of their products. That's what happened in this case. The company K-Flow asked if I wanted to check out their new battery powered portable espresso maker and it looked really cool. Now I always tell you guys, but I accept about 10% of the offers that I get. I get some crazy offers to review stuff and I only accept the product to review if the company just sends it to me, no questions asked, they have no input onto the video itself, they have no ability to view the video before I publish it. Simply just a product to check out and tell you guys how I really feel about it. So I assure you the opinions are only my own. Let me show you guys what they sent me. So this is the portable espresso maker from K-Flow. All right, this goes right on top here. That's how it is stored, but this is the main unit itself. 8.6 by 3.1 inches, pretty hefty at 1.65 pounds. It has a rechargeable battery via USB-C right back here. You can see, okay, so you just pop it in there and it will recharge pretty quickly. Two hours of charging will get it pretty much full and you'll get 30 to 50 cups of espresso with it. This model will not heat water, okay? It'll only brew the coffee itself. You have to put the hot water in there. They have one that brews with hot water that makes the hot water and brews it, but uh, that's not the one I got. I actually can't find it. I don't see it on the internet, but I know they make one, or at least they're going to be making one. I know this model is relatively new, so I'm wondering if the model that heats water is coming up a little bit later. Cost is not cheap. It's $129. It comes in a couple of different varieties, okay? This one uses Nespresso capsules, okay? Like these little Nespresso capsules right here. You can also get one that gets the Dolce Gusto capsules or just straight ground coffee. I'll explain to you guys later in the video why I chose one that uses these Nespresso capsules. Here are the different pieces. As you can see, it comes with a little cup. You can brew into this cup. The bottom is the actual brew chamber, okay? This is where you open up and you put your uh, Nespresso capsule in there. This actually goes on the bottom here. The capsule goes right in there. Put it on there. When you uh, close it, it crushes uh, the capsule and opens it and allows you to brew it. This is the water chamber. The water goes right in there. It has a line to tell you how far to fill it up, or at least what the maximum is. You can use as little or as much as you want, as long as you don't get over that maximum. It takes about 30 seconds. You get excellent quality espresso. It has a, a stable pump, keeps it at about 15 bar, which is very important. Like I said, to create espresso, you have to have that constant pressure. Let me show you guys how to make a shot of espresso. This is how I do it. Uh, if you really want to make sure that you, you know, you keep things warm and you do everything just the way you want to, this is how I would suggest it.
So what are my thoughts on this portable espresso maker? Now, first of all, you might think, what kind of espresso maker won't heat water? And I, and I initially thought the same thing. I thought, well, why wouldn't you make one that can heat its own water? Well, look, it's all about battery power. I think ultimately the harder part of the equation of making espresso is actually creating the coffee. Heating the water is something you can do a million different ways. If you're traveling, you can get it from uh, the lobby of your hotel. You can carry a small stove and easily boil water. And even though K-Flow does make a version that will heat its own water, I, I haven't found it. I don't see it on the internet, but I know that they do make one. It's going to utilize a tremendous amount of battery power to do that. You can brew tons of cups of coffee of espresso with this thing, whereas if it had to heat the water, and brew, it would not brew nearly as many cups as this one does. I think creating a product that uses pre-boiled water is basically a way to allow it to make more cups of coffee for you on less charges of battery. It's a compromise, no doubt, but I think it's a pretty reasonable way to go about it. This coffee maker is perfect for travel. It's good for RVs, for the trail. I even used it at my office. I've kept it at my office the last couple of weeks and brewed plenty of coffee there just to try it out and it works perfectly. And I will say that I've used it for the last, I want to say, three weeks, pretty much four days a week. Haven't had to recharge it. I've never had a product that used an espresso pod, so they gave me an option between the espresso pods, a different type of pod, and then just straight coffee. In the end, you know, people will argue and say that the espresso pods create a lot of waste, and I don't disagree with that at all. But here's the thing. If I'm looking for something that's super simple, clean, I want to take with me traveling, it's going to go with me in my backpack. Having the pods that are, that are encapsulated, right, and you don't have coffee spilling everywhere, and at the end of the process, you don't need to clear out the coffee, get rid of the coffee, find a place to put it. You can just keep a little Ziploc bag, put the little pod in there, and you're good to go. I wanted something to try the Nespresso pods, and they're very, very good. I can see what all the fuss is about. But I think that using a pod system, although not the best thing at home where you have access to trash or garbage disposal or whatever it might be, using it when you're traveling just makes sense. The price of this product is pretty steep, but looking around, it really is in line with other products from other companies that make this quality of product, this quality of espresso, and battery powered, it's going to be about this amount of money. In the end, the product does exactly what K-Flow says it's going to do, and I think it does it very well. I've had no issues with it. Now, granted, I've only had it for about, I don't know, six or eight weeks, and I've used it quite a bit, 
Not a long time, but it has worked just fine. I will let you guys know down the road if I have any problems with it. But if you're in the market for one of these pretty high priced portable espresso makers, I think you can purchase this K-Flow and know it's gonna at least do what it's supposed to do. How long it will last, only time will tell. Not sure if you guys are aware, but I have an entire playlist on coffee. I call it coffee in the woods, but it's kind of evolved into coffee almost anywhere. Make sure you check it down below. Do me a big favor, guys. If you like the video, stop now. Hit that thumbs up. It really helps spread things across YouTube. If you're interested in picking up one of these coffee makers, there will be an affiliate link down below. This is an affiliate link just to Amazon. So if you guys are interested, it does bring a little bit of money back to the channel and allow me to feed my obsession with gear. If you're not subscribed, take a second and just hit that subscription button. And if you want to make sure you don't miss any videos, hit that notification bell and you will be the first to know. It's a beautiful, exceedingly hot day here in Louisiana and that's why I'm inside. I'm really looking forward. When it gets to this July, August stage, I start to get really excited about September and October where I'm actually gonna be able to get out in the woods without 110% humidity and a swarm squadron of mosquitoes and 110 degree heat. Sounds great, right? As always, guys, appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Stay tuned for more videos soon.